Hello friends and welcome. My name is Julia and today I will try to cheer you and me up with a happy and cute creation. I have collected long forms mini stamp sets on second hand for a while and I felt now is the time to use them along with Prima Color Philosophy inks that my dear friend Linda sent me and I have been itching to try them out. So I start off with a few colors, not really knowing where this will go. I put down these vibrant dye inks at random, except I try to keep the colors that make brown together away from each other. I focus more on laying down a heavy coat than blending them perfectly, because I will add textures on top that actually benefits from my imperfect blending. At least that's my opinion. I have a spray bottle with perfect pearls mixed in and I spray it heavily over the stencil from dilutions. These inks are water reactive so I will have the what's called a ghost print that shimmers and then I cut the panel down with my tonic guillotine trimmer. It's time to stamp these cute and magical creatures and I stamp them in Memento to Tuxedo black ink so they won't smudge when I color with my Uhuhu alcohol markers. When I color these creatures, I have the same color combos throughout the coloring so it will be pleasing to the eye. For example, this dragon is colored in the same three shades of blue as the scarf on the unicorn later. I go from lightness to dark and back again. The only other color I use is the light grey that I use to shade my unicorn and blend it out with a colorless blender. It looks dark so and wet, but when dry this unicorn will have a very light shading. I color the birds and all their accessories with the same color combos in the same way. Three of each shade and trying to pick colors that will go with my background. By this time last year we started the social distancing and that happened on top of what each of us struggled with to begin with. I know many struggle and I would like to invite you to my world of color and creating, so we can escape for a moment together. As I color I start to think of my busy background and how these cute critters will melt into the background and that bothers me. So I change my direction a bit and decided to add a layer between my vibrant background and the critters. But first, I fill in the unicorn's horn with a gold gel pen and add some highlights with a white gel pen. The middle panel would be in only black, grey and white and I cut this stencil myself from cardboard, just some random cloud shapes and I used Distress Oxide inks in Hickory Smoke to add clouds to a winter sky. I start blending on the stencil to get that grey shadow and then I switch to black soot to give the clouds some depth. I twist and turn the stencil to get different shapes and distance between them and if you feel uncertain of my homemade stencil, there is lots of cloud stencils to buy. I dry my grey ink before I bring in the black and do the same procedure as I did with the grey. I ink up the edges with the Distress Ink in black suit and it's time to start assembling my creation. I glue down my vibrant and shimmering panel on a larger piece of black cardstock for the black frame and I use clips to hold it together until the glue dries. I cut these two snow banks from white cardstock and glue them together before I glue them the snow banks on the panel. I snip off what's hanging off my panel and I should have inked them up before I glue them down but I try to carefully ink them up in the same grey as in the sky. 
I have this tree and branch in black and I wanted more black and white texture, so I use Reindeer's black glitter embossing powder over them both and heat set until shiny and glimmering. I glue down my black glitter tree and the branch for the birds. But I need more texture, so I bring out two small snowflakes from the dra dragon stamp set. I put them both on an acrylic block and stamp randomly in sticky Versamark embossing ink. Then I bring out my WOW Vanilla White Embossing Powder and cover the snowflakes with the powder and heat set them until white and shiny. For a sentiment I will use one from the bird stamp set, Seasons Tweetings, and I use my stamping platform to stamp the sentiment in Versamark Embossing Ink and cover with that black glitter powder from Ranger, and I use my heat tool once again. To add more dimension I use foam tape behind my black and white panel to pop it up from that gorgeous inked panel and I add glue on top of the tape to give myself some wiggle room when I center it on the back panel. Now it's time to add the creatures and I use foam tape behind them as well. I want all the dimension I can get and I pop them down, my unicorn, dragon and birds on that monochromatic background. The last detail on this card will be a shimmer brush marker from Nouveau and I brushed that on the clouds and the accessories on the creatures and with that this crafty adventure is finished. Thank you all for watching, I value every single one of you and I hope you will pop by soon again. Until the next time, see you soon.